Hello and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'll be sharing five thrift store makeovers inspired by vintage colors and European style. Here are the thrift store projects that I'll be giving makeovers. Each one is just fine as is, however I wanted to freshen them up to fit my decor. I always clean and prepare any surface with gloss off. It's available at the Home Depot. Usually thrifted items or even items in your own home have been sitting around and collecting dust, so you do want to make sure that you clean them thoroughly before painting. These decorative balls were beautiful but I wanted to be able to use them all year long. So I was hoping to give them a nice neutral color scheme makeover. I really loved the delicate gold detailed trim on all of these spheres. As with most of my projects, I gave each one a base coat for a clean slate. I used a DIY chalk paint in the color Fired Earth. However, if you prefer a lighter base coat, Waverly has a nice brown chalk paint in the color Truffle. You can find Waverly chalk paint in the craft section at Walmart. And I often mix a charcoal color into my browns for a warmer tone of gray. I used a stencil brush just because I happened to have them on hand. And of course, I always like to use this angled brush called the Shortcut and it's available at Home Depot. I started off the layering process by giving each item one coat of the Fired Earth chalk paint. The stencil brush really helped get into all of the little nooks and crannies. I decided it might be a good idea to wear gloves. If you happen to have watched my most recent shop with me and haul video, you'll remember I purchased three of these angel candlesticks. I decided to experiment with one angel and try to make her look like an old European concrete garden statue that had been outside for years. When I applied her base coat, I did so sparingly and focused more on the recessed areas of her gown, wings, and body for shadowing and depth. So after the base coat dried on the spheres and the candlestick, I applied a thick DIY gray chalk paint. Chalk paint dries rapidly so you can layer more quickly than using other regular latex or acrylic paints. While that paint was drying, I applied a base coat to the lamp. I also applied a base coat to the candelabra, even though in hindsight, I didn't even need to. I changed my mind a few times during this whole makeover process, as you'll see shortly. Sometimes things just don't look the way you imagined, so you have to try again. After the gray paint dried on the angel and the decorative balls, 
I mixed a new color by adding Waverly chalk paint in the color mineral. And I also added the color hazelnut to create this muted putty color. I applied the paint in a thick layer by dragging and patting to create a plastered or concrete look. I then added two tones of green. I ended up doing the same colors on the lamp base. I then added a third and brighter green color as well. To add highlights and shimmer, I first used this champagne gold metallic paint. For an even brighter and richer highlighted effect, I rubbed on a bit of this metallic gold wax in the color Gold Rush. And here is the final look. I love the vintage color scheme and I love how they can be used for all four seasons now. I had painted the lamp base in the same colors. However, I really needed something that would help me tie in the trendy Christmas colors from all of my decor that I had purchased last year. And these vintage rained on estate sale ornaments are on the makeover list as well. I decided to add shades of aqua to tie in this sign and other decor I have with a similar color palette. This Waverly chalk paint in the color peacock was perfect. I toned down the paint just a little bit with Java Brown Glaze by Rust-Oleum. Maxine was there to inspect my work. After the paint dried, I went outside to give it a top coat and I just had to stop to enjoy the beautiful warm fall weather here in the south. The leaves are starting to change color and it won't be long until the trees are bare for winter. And if you didn't know already, autumn is my favorite season. I sprayed a matte clear enamel top coat to protect and seal the finish. Now, these last two projects were quite the challenge. I originally wanted them to look like rusted iron, so I mixed a red copper metallic paint with the fired earth chalk paint.
I added more plaster of Paris to create a super thick chalk paint and add texture to the pieces to resemble a rusted effect. To try to achieve a rusted look, I stippled the paint around the bottom of both pieces And then I had to just stop and rethink my whole design plan because that idea was not what I really liked. And what I did really like was the gorgeous antique gold framed glass sign that I used in my foyer. So I started over. I took both metal pieces outside and gave them a new base coat of antique gold spray paint. And then I aged it with the color Fired Earth, and then added some of the Gold Rush Metallic Wax for a slight gold variation and highlight. Now, the lighting is poor in this shot, and I used a different camera, but you can still see the aged antique gold color that I think is really close to the Paris flea market sign, and that Ballard Designs mirrored birdcage that I purchased on my last shopping trip. Don't be afraid to get creative and try your design ideas, especially when it comes to using paint. Paint is the least expensive and the most transformative tool that you can use to recreate your home and all of the decor pieces inside of it. For the final touches on the Angel Candelabra, I gave her a few cream colored highlights and then I painted just a little bit of green to resemble moss that would be growing on a concrete statue in the garden. I think that she turned out absolutely beautiful. And I love how she looks a bit brittle and weathered on the outside, but you still get to see a glimpse of her golden glow peeking through. And I think we can all relate to that sometimes. And here is how the lamp turned out. I think for $5 and a little bit of paint, this is a great way to tie in all of those whimsical, fun Christmas decor pieces while still keeping your overall look elegant and upscale. Well, I think Cass is trying to remind me that I need to carve out the time in my day to get back into the gym. I hope this video inspires you to take another look at those secondhand items and try to envision what they could become to fit into your home's decor. Please like this video if you did, leave a comment below, share it with your friends, and consider subscribing to my channel. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next video.